Even though Young Season 6 will soon end with George S.R.'s death, a particularly touching scene in the Big Bang Theory spinoff has demonstrated that the sitcom must take into account this plotline. Over the course of many years, Young Sheldon has deviated steadily from the Big Bang Theory's canon. Young Sheldon was already a significant departure from the Big Bang Theory's multi-camera hangout format when it debuted as a single-camera family sitcom without a laugh track. However, the spin-off became even more distinct from the Big Bang Theory's tone as young Sheldon became more immersed in the Cooper dynasty's complexities. The offshoot has not always benefited from this. Young Sheldon transformed Missy, the one-note character from the original show, into a fully developed, engaging heroine, demonstrating that the Big Bang Theory wasted Missy. Although the spin-off also demonstrated that Sheldon's relationship with his father was more complicated than he ever admitted as an adult, the irascible but ultimately decent George S.R. was the focus of many touching storylines. However, of all the plot details that young Sheldon and the Big Bang Theory share, George S.R. Demise has the most in common with young Sheldon. S. reveals the most serious flaw in the canon of the show. The Big Bang Theory holds that George S.R. passed away when Sheldon was still in his early teens. On the other hand, in young Sheldon season 6, Episode 13, there is a sleepover, a frat party, and the most common blister. While they couldn't sleep because they were worried about Missy, George S.R., and Mary's lovely chat suggested that the spin-off couldn't kill George so quickly. Missy and Sheldon had a rare chance to work together when Paige showed up again in Young Sheldon. But the most touching part of the episode was when George S.R. and Mary talked about how hard it was for them to raise their children and Mary told George S.R. that he would soon be a grandpa. George S.R. probably won't be around to see Mandy and Georgie's birth. The young Sheldon scene, on the other hand, demonstrated that the spin-off should disrupt the narrative. When the Big Bang Theory established how young Sheldon was at the time of his father's death, the creators of the show would have been hard-pressed to anticipate how captivating a character George S.R. would become in young Sheldon. Things like the young Sheldon Jim Parsons voiceover show how much the previous seasons of the spin-off relied on its connection to the Big Bang Theory, George S.R., and other things. The series' convoluted and unexpectedly sympathetic position demonstrates that the tone has completely changed since then. The Cooper family's interactions provide young Sheldon with the most hilarious and even the most heartbreaking drama. Young Sheldon's emotional center is Mary and George S.R.'s struggles to keep their marriage together, Sheldon's fights with his siblings, and Georgie's efforts to prove herself. Furthermore, striking out a significant spin-off player like George S.R. would disrupt this equilibrium. The spin-off has set up stories that will pay off in the Big Bang Theory years later, whether it's the Mima connection explaining Sheldon's trust issues later on or Georgie's attempts to please his parents only to become resentful. This does not mean that young Sheldon season 6 must follow the Big Bang Theory's canon if doing so puts the spin-off's own plot in jeopardy. If George Sr. is killed in the spin-off, it could be a fatal mistake for young Sheldon season 6 to prioritize the legacy of a previous program over the content of an existing series. Young Sheldon has already shown that George Sr. was a better parent and spouse than Mary and Sheldon claimed. 